The Gamer magazine says, I don't understand why Phoebe Waller-Bridge is exclusively doing bad projects. Um, I don't know either. Why is she doing bad projects? Maybe she's not very good, huh? I am Becca. Please subscribe. I'm using the phone. I don't know. Does it help the algorithm? Now, YouTube says that you have to uninstall the app and reinstall the app, clear out your cache and your cookies on your apps, sign out of the thing, re-sign in, and then maybe you might accidentally see your content that you actually subscribed to. If you happen to remember to go to the subscription page, which, you know, I, I know I know everybody just wants to use the home page, but you hit the subscription one and it might actually send you. Maybe if YouTube's nice. YouTube's never nice, though. They don't like me because I tell you too many things you might need to know instead of the things that, you know, the, the studios and YouTube want you to know. Like why Phoebe Waller-Bridge isn't very good. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Rob off camera. <laughs> He's off camera. And we're, we're talking about Phoebe Waller-Bridge. So what's up with her? I Now, we haven't seen Fleabag. But we've seen a lot of her stuff. Now, what's going on with that? I saw that? Like Killing Eve. It wasn't wasn't bad. Okay, so she wrote that one? Yeah, she okay. wrote that. So, is it a case of, is Hollywood just just hiring her for crap because she's I British think, and cheap? I, part of it, I think she's picking the wrong projects. I think people are picking her for the wrong projects. Uh, I think maybe she's, her talent or her skill set doesn't fit the projects that she is being floated. They're sending her to all this genre stuff and not like normie things like Killing Eve and Fleabag, right? Like dramas. I mean, she'd be... Yeah, she'd dramas be... and comedies and things for people who aren't... Because this is a nostalgia property. This is a franchise brand geek sort of fandom property. This is a fandom well, property okay. that really has nothing to do with the current hot, itch, British dramatic... You know, because she doesn't do genre stuff. It's not like Amelia Clark, who, who you can make a case for being in everything. Because at least she comes from Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So are they trying to get, like, oh, well, who's the next Amelia Clark that we can get? Oh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge? Well, she writes, too. Maybe she can punch up a script, and we love her, and she's personable to all the Hollywood types. And I, I don't know. What do you think? I, I think there's something to that but i think there's also something to the fact that they are choosing her thinking oh she's a big up-and-coming talent and again her skill set is not suited for the types of things that they are choosing to have her work on uh she wrote more of that bond movie that we uh first than we first thought and that movie was terrible. Or are they just blaming it on her now in the retrospect because she's a convenient scapegoat because she's in all these crappy properties? Well, Daniel Craig went out of his way to say, I want her on this movie. Oh, also, the, can we say this? The gamer is admitting that this is a bad movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. So so first off, mainstream media, the gamer, admitting this is a yeah, bad movie. That, that's a miracle. <laughs> that's a pretty big deal because most of the, we're seeing a lot of people really, really making a lot of excuses for this Indiana Jones movie. So, all right, what's going on? What do they say? What's well, their Well, okay, so here? I've been a Fleabag defender since I first watched it in 2016. It's one of the most singular, unique pieces of media ever made for television. It's moving. It's hilarious. And it ended perfectly uh, on a bit of sweet note. The Buella Bridge has had a special place in my heart since then, especially after she went on to executive produce The Very Good Killing Eve. What I don't understand is why, after these successes, she's gone on to work on such mediocre, unexciting projects. Waller Bridge just started in the newly released Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. So far, reviews have been okay, with much higher scores from audiences than critics. I haven't uh, seen. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that, pal? <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay, this is Tessa Cower. Yeah, I don't know who, who that knows? is. Uh, I'm sh and I'm sure she was fine in it. No, she wasn't. Yeah. No, oh, they didn't even wasn't. watch it. Okay, so the person watch, is, didn't even watch this. It's just yeah, but going with this the, is not this is not a, a critique of her of performance in it. No, but it's striking to see how unoriginal it is. It's an Indiana Jones movie. Where have you been? It's an extraordinary, expensive movie based on an existing IP, a blatant studio cash grab that's loaded with nostalgia bait. Yep. So she's blaming the movie on this. Uh, it's it was made to make an obscene amount of money. That the series has never come close to. And while this is something I hate desperately about the current media landscape, I'm more disappointed that Walla Bridge is in it. We are too. We are too. I think for the wrong reasons. Though, for for the opposite diff reasons. very different reasons than you are. <laughs> opposite with, reasons. With the amount of cultural cash Fleabag gave her, really, you think, you think so? The praise and awards that she won, I'd hope she'd be creating more unique art, more emotionally impactful television. 
but she's starring in Indiana Jones movies, voicing his dark materials and Star Wars characters, uh, helming Tomb Raider, uh, a Tomb Raider show for Amazon, and writing <laughs> James Bond films. Yeah, like okay, so if her well, listen, I don't blame her one bit for taking for, work, for getting a but... paycheck. I think they're trying to gain credibility from her that she can't give them because I think they're so desperate for any bit of 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 talent that they're going to her as like this is the best we can get. <laughs> well, Fleabag's well, fairly acclaimed. This is like the, the closest thing to an Oscar star they have. They can't yeah. get Mount Guinness anymore. They can't even get like a Ewan McGregor type. They're getting her to give <laughs> to lend some sort of credibility to to their garbage. What they're doing with their garbage, yes. It's like getting an award winning chef to work at McDonald's. <laughs> I know that awards don't pay the bills, and neither does clout. We can laud her as a genuine all we want, but she has to take jobs to make money, even if she was born into the English landed gentry with a baronet for her a grandfather. Oh, really? She's There's a wealthy... A... Oh, uh... So, oh. And now I don't want to ever hear anything that Phoebe Waller-Bridge has to say ever. Yeah, she needs to know her place and stay in her land. She is just a wealthy hoity-toity... Too big for her britches, woman, and she needs to redistribute her wealth and be taxed royally, as that's what I have to say. <laughs> I like doing the accents. Writers typically don't make much, which is the entire reason the Writers Guild of America started striking and is, as of today, still on strike. Oh, yeah, and, and SAG might join them, too, now. Yes, and then they're really they're really up a creek. Oh, here's the problem. Everything is going to the AI stuff, and the the studios do not want to bend one minute, one bit. No, because the AI is so much easier. It just fills well, it in automatically. I mean, look at eBay. You can just fill it in automatically. Yeah. Now. Well, but the problem is though with AI is it only pulls from existing material. Yeah. I mean, everything is going to be. And that's what. And, and, and that's, that's what, what people are fed up with. That yeah. That's what, and the, what it what it does is it takes everything uh, that's already out there. Puts it in the blender and spits out an average. That's what computers do. They give you an average of something. And, you know, I, there was an AI model that wrote a, a, rock, a rock and roll song, and it was incredibly average. But that's what it does. <laughs> well, that's what these movies are. They're just incredibly yeah. mediocre and average. They don't make any sense. They have no rhyme or reason. Mm -hmm. It's just from plot point to plot point to plot point. And audiences are fed mm -hmm. up with this. Yeah. Well, they continue... Many award-winning writers and showrunners are still financially precarious, with some struggling to make rent. Not Waller Bridge, to be clear. She's very secure considering the position she was born into, but I'm sure she still has to work. And still, she, I can't help but feel that her talent is being squandered on intellectual property BS. Waller Bridge's deal with Amazon to create exclusively for them did make her a multimillionaire, but the, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> so she, now she doesn't have to work then. Yeah. I mean, if you had more than a million dollars in the bank, I could I could tell you how to make that last for the rest of your life. Uh, but but this, at the same time, she has a pay to play, pay or play deal. Even if something doesn't get to screen, she still makes a boatload of money. Yeah, you give me two million cash, I will never work again. Yeah, she's working on the upcoming Tomb Raider television series, which I'm still mad exists. It's colonialist, white savory. What? And, <laughs> I just don't like it because it's derivative and redundant. Yes. And we've already had the, the, how many movies? And mm -hmm. they've rebooted them. And we have the game. Well, this this sounds like someone who's a snob. Oh, this is a feminist. Yeah. And <laughs> has always set my teeth on edge. It's mind-boggling to me that the creator of one of the most astonishingly original television shows of all time has decided she wants to make money by working nonstop on the most soul-crushing IP projects Hollywood has <laughs> to offer. Wait, 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 wait. So the writer of this article is mad that Phoebe Waller-Bridge is choosing garbage properties, but is also making excuses for the fact that this woman never has to work again in, in, in at all. She's like, oh, I understand. She has to make a living and earn a paycheck. Yeah, but if you knew how to manage a couple million dollars, you would know you probably never have to work again. So so if you really knew how to manage your money at Phoebe Waller-Bridge's age, she's what, over 30? She's probably 35 she's or so? She's 35, 36 maybe. Okay, okay. So she's over 30, mid-30s. She would never have to work again if she managed $2 million correctly. And I could probably show her how. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial yes. advice. How, however, this is this is... Oh, God. So this is somebody who's mad that Phoebe Waller-Bridge is taking garbage properties for money. Because Tomb Raider is my colonialist. Mm. 
and not just this redundant derivative. And, that, and that's really what we're getting with all this stuff is this yeah. redundant derivative, the same thing over and over and over again because it is being regurgitated by AI. Yeah. And it is chat GPT. And the studios have exactly... And this is what they do with the directors. This is why they didn't let Edgar Wright direct the Ant-Man thing is because they have them... Well, the movie's going to have this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this in it. And you have a director come along and say, yeah, but I want to do something fun, you know? I want to do my thing. I want to tell mm -hmm. my story. And they don't let them. They're just basically there to fill in the blanks and paint by numbers. It's the paint by numbers generation of filmmaking. That's where we're at. Yeah, I hate to say it. Uh, is there any more to this article yeah, or well, do, we, do they, we care they here? Some, they use the word sellout when it comes to artists. I hate to use their sellout she comes back. The word sellout, yeah. As a majority of us have to, have to labor under capitalism. She's a sellout. You called, her, you called her a sellout. But why these projects? She's not even doing it Greta Gerwig style, using the irony to subvert expectations, and it's painful to see. Fleabag was tongue-in-cheek, self-aware. Oh, she's making excuses for Greta Gerwig now. Yeah. Brilliantly funny, and her latest work has been anything but... I guess that's what happens when people wave fat checks at you. Some artists would rather make money than take the risk of making something new and have it flop. <laughs> I can't begrudge her that, really, but I can be sad about it. I wish she turned back to making original work, but twenty million Amazon dollars is a hell of a lot of money. They paid her that much. Well, oh, you got hosed. Well, the other she's not worth the it. The other part of this is that a good writer. I mean, she's not good okay, at what she she's does. Not that, I she's not that good what at what I'm she saying. does. She's not she's not really that attractive. She doesn't have a good personality. No. She is she, rash and abrasive, her, crude, her crass, personality that blunt, harsh. is not that far off of the characters that she plays. She's not easy an easy person to to root for on stage. She doesn't have what it, she doesn't have the charisma to be a hero. On screen. She's literally the bad guy. She literally steals the thing and says, I don't care. I'm going to sell it on the black market. I don't care about you, Indy. She gets Indiana Jones killed, tw nearly killed twice. He doesn't even have a say in how he wants to die. She's like, oh, no, you can't die in ancient Rome. No, we right have to drag Rome. you back to... to <laughs> No. She's literally Ray from Star Wars. This no, is the problem. I want to die in ancient Rome. I want to take a dump in a Roman toilet. She's literally Ray from Star Wars. It's the same type of character. She just is perfect at everything. Knows how to drive motorcycles. Knows how to drive a boat. Knows how to get out of situations better than Harrison Ford. It's literally like I'm watching Ray and Harrison Ford in The Force Awakens again. Mm -hmm. And he's he's it's I I was calling him Han Solo. I was calling him Han a couple of times. You call him Han Solo, and this is really not a whole lot of difference. No, he's he's just playing Han Solo, and she's playing Ray. <laughs> so is it Phoebe Waller Bridges' fault or is it Hollywood's fault for putting too much faith in her? Is this the best they've got for women? Well, she's the flavor of the month. And every time someone does something, they Hollywood, the film industry, yeah. TV, has to put them in everything. At the same time, I mean, as a woman, you can't really be crude and brass and, and abrasive because they want you to be feminine and everything. So is it really fair to expect her to be feminine and delicate and, you know... Well, listen. Because if she like like seriously, I don't want seriousness. Now, thirteen minutes in, I can have this discussion. If she were a man with that personality, how uh, would the audiences? If she were like a Peter Venkman type of character, is that a fair comparison? Do you think, or is something I else better? I think this. I think this character would be just as grating if it was a man. Okay, that's I fair. I think this. I think this movie. I think the character was actually written for a man. And they plugged her into it. Ooh, possibly. It might have been written for Shia LaBeouf. That's the, that's the feeling I'm getting. And then they added, like, oh, I'm the goddaughter after the last yes. minute. Yes, they made some token changes, and then mm. and then they went with it. They got Phoebe Waller-Bridge because she's the, the, hot, up, the hot current talent at the moment. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Uh, we've talked about this for 14 minutes. Yes. Um, yeah, she's she's overrated in my opinion. I don't think it's fair that women aren't, you know, are expected to be feminine at all times. But at the same time, I certainly probably would expect that too. So is it me? Is it society? Is it... I mean, is it, is it fair just to say some people are just annoying? I'm annoying. I know that. Rob is annoying. Please subscribe to this channel. The cat's annoying. He's scratching at something. Bye. Bye.